Welcome to ChatGPT as a B2C speaking examiner part two. Today I'll be showing you how my handout from part one can be used in ChatGPT. I'll put the handout once again in the description box below. I'll also include the transcript of the conversation I had with ChatGPT acting as my speaking examiner. Okay, so let's begin. First, copy and paste everything from the handout into ChatGPT. So that's the prompt, speaking assessment criteria, speaking tasks and questions. Then it will respond to the information you've pasted into it. Sure, I'll be happy to act as your B2 speaking examiner. I'll ask you the questions one at a time and please respond accordingly. Let's begin. Question one, how important do you think it is for people to try new activities? Why? I think it's vitally important for people to try new activities because it gives them one, a sense of purpose. It enriches their lives. It allows them to experience new things and to interact and socialize with other people. The benefits far outweigh the drawbacks. Thank you for your response. Now let's move on to the next question. Question two, why do you think some people don't like to try new things? It could be because they have fear. You know, they are afraid that maybe they won't succeed at what they're doing or they're afraid that they might not enjoy something. Um, I think a lot of it has to do with insecurities and fear. But, you know, if we encourage these people to try something new and show them that they'll benefit mostly from these new things, then maybe that will help to alleviate their fear. Thank you for sharing your thoughts. Let's proceed to the next question. Question three. A lot of people enjoy doing sport after school or work. Do you think this is a good thing? Why or why not? I think that this is a brilliant thing because it gives you balance in your life. Obviously, it's a good idea to, you know, have work and to study, but it's also great to socialize and interact with your peers, your colleagues, interact with friends and family. It's good to not always focus on work, but to think of other things as well. So yes, your life will be enriched by doing something like sport, you know, after work or school, because it helps you to clear your mind. It helps you to be human and socialize. Thank you for sharing your opinion. Now let's proceed to the next question. Question four, what do you enjoy doing after school or work? Why? It depends on my mood. Um, for example, um, sometimes I just want to stay at home and read a book or watch TV or simply enjoy quiet time or um, spending that quality time with my family and other times I want to go out. I want to, you know, um, have fun with the people I love. So it depends on how I'm feeling. Sometimes I just want to go out and dance, for example, go clubbing or something like that or go to the cinema, you know, so it really depends on how I'm feeling. Thank you for sharing your preferences and the reasons behind them. Now let's move on to the final question. Question five. Do you think it's better to go out and do things after school or work, or is it better to stay at home? Why? Um, again, it depends on how you're feeling, but generally it's always a good idea to make sure you have some kind of balance in your life. So if you feel like going out, go out, even sometimes when you don't feel like it, you know, because, you know, you're not always in that frame of mind to socialize, to really just fully interact with other people. 
Um, but it's good for your mental health to make sure that you do have that balance in your life. So I would say go out, have fun whenever you can, even if sometimes you don't even feel like it. You know, it's not always good to be cooped up in the house. Thank you for sharing your perspective on the matter. You have provided your responses to all the questions. Now, let's move on to the assessment. Assessment. Criteria marks grammar and vocabulary for discourse management, for pronunciation, for interactive communication, for based on your responses. Here is the assessment for each criterion. Grammar and vocabulary. You demonstrated a good degree of control over simple and some complex grammatical forms. Your use of appropriate vocabulary to express your ideas on a range of topics was commendable. Discourse management. You were able... Okay, so I'm, I'm, I've just stopped the recording here because you can obviously read this on your own. So let's just go down the page a bit. One moment, please. Okay. So please read this now. And that's it. If you found this content useful and informative, then support this channel by liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Until next time, bye.